This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that downloads a file from an FTP server using the FTP task. Then I'll show you how to download all the files in a folder from the FTP server. I used FileZilla to set up an FTP server on my computer and uh, FTP root here is the root directory on my FTP server and then I have a directory under there called directory one where I have eight Excel files and these are the files that I'll be um, using in the demonstration. And then this is a folder that's a local folder on my computer that I want to download files into. So I'm going to copy the address as text because I'll be using that in my uh, SSIS package. So I'm going to start by defining a variable for the local path and the data type will be string. And then I'll paste in what I just copied which is a path to the folder I was just showing you. And then I'll define a second variable and I'll call that remote path. And that's also a string. And then um, a forward slash is how I say go to the root in my FTP server. And then I'll go to directory one, and then I'm going to pick one of the files. I'll start with just one file.xlsx. Stay tuned to see how I configure the FTP task. Do you need to sort large amounts of data that can't be sorted using the standard sort? How many times has the standard sort component failed you when sorting more than two gigabytes of data? With Cozy Rock Sort Plus component, you can sort any amount of data and any number of records. It's free for testing and development and provides the same set of capabilities like the standard sort component, and yet it does so much more. It's not limited by the amount of available RAM, also can accept multiple inputs, and all processing is done in parallel using a configurable number of threads. Cozy Rock's Sort Plus provides optimal utilization of your server's resources, sorting very large amounts of data in a reasonable time. Download the Sort Plus component now. Cozy Rock SSIS Plus is free for testing and development within Visual Studio. All right, now I'll drag the FTP task onto the Control Flow Canvas, and I'll double click on it to open the editor. And I need to set up the connection manager for FTP. So I select new connection. And then FileZilla told me to use an IP address uh, to access the server. So it's 127.0.0.1. I'll leave the server port set to 21. I have a username set up on the server and password. And now I can test the connection and it's good. And now we'll go to the file transfer tab here. And first I'll change the operation to receive files. And then uh, I am going to be using variables for the local as well as the remote parameters. So I'll change this to true. It's the is local path variable is now true. So here for the local variable, I will choose local path, our variable that I just set up. And then I'll do the same thing for the remote parameters. So I'll say true, I'm going to use a variable. And then I'll select the remote path variable. And I'll click OK to close the editor. And I'll save the package. And then I'll execute the package. And it was successful. I'll stop debugging. We'll go take a look at my local folder. And there's the one file, .xlsx. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to copy all the files in the folder, or receive all the files in the folder. So the only thing I need to do is to change the remote path 
And instead of just putting the name of one file, I use a wildcard, so an asterisk.xlsx. And I'll save the package again and execute it. And it was successful. I'll stop debugging and go over to the local folder. And there's all eight of the Excel files that we received. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.